Okay, so now in this example, it's an applied example, so I'm going to read the problem, I'm going to write down the information, and then work it out for us. Okay, so now it says when a rocket is launched, its horizontal velocity v sub x is related to the velocity v with which it is fired by the equation v sub x equals v cosine theta. Okay, so here's the relationship. So the relationship is v sub x, so the velocity in the x direction, so the x vector, right? So again, just so you have an idea, a rocket goes like this, right? And you have two component vectors. You have a vertical velocity and you have a horizontal velocity, okay? And those two component vectors add up to the vector v, okay? Now, you don't need to know all that, but it makes sense now that the velocity vector here is going to be what? It's the velocity, right? So this is your v sub y, if you will. Oops, yeah, let me write that better. So your velocity is going to be v cosine theta, where this is the angle of launch, right? So this is the relationship that they're giving you. Okay, so the velocity in the x direction is given by that trigonometric function. Okay, so it's, it's the velocity v times the cosine of the angle. Okay, so now, here theta is the angle between the horizontal and the direction in which the rocket is fired. Find v sub x if v is 150 meters, uh, excuse me, 1250 meters per second, and the angle is 36.0 degrees. So in other words, so this is 36.0 degrees, 36.0 degrees, so that's the angle of incline that it's being launched at, and the initial vo velocity of the rocket is 1,250 meters per second. Okay, so now we want to find v sub x using this formula. So again, it's going to be 1,250 meters per second times the cosine of 36.0 degrees. That's what we're putting in your calculator, okay? Now, all you have to do is take 1,250 times the cosine of 36 and then enter and you get 1,011.27. So again, what does that mean? Well, since we're going up to the tenth of a degree, we're gonna go up to three significant digits. And so I would estimate this as approximately equal to Let me see, what do they do here? Yes, 110, 110 meters per second. So again, three significant digits. So you start here, one, two, three. So there's your three significant digits. So that's where we end. So now if you wanted to go out further, it was actually 1011.27, like I showed you on the video. But again, since this is given to you up to a tenth of a degree, then we want to make sure we have three significant digits, and so therefore we uh, rounded to uh, 1,010 meters per second for the uh, horizontal velocity. And that's it. Have a great day.